Hello and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we end the trading week, we hear a little bit of detrimental news on the side of Alibaba as their share price actually dropped by 5% in yesterday's trading. So this all stems from them actually making their first operating loss as a public company as uh, Chinese regulators actually imposed a fine on them. It's actually an antitrust fine on their Ant Group public offering, which is its technology affiliate. And this was if uh, going from last November so the fine was almost $35 billion and since then over $240 billion has actually been wiped off the value of Alibaba stock as the regulatory scrutiny continued onwards and this actually included an almost $3 billion fine it received as a result of an anti-monopoly investigation as well. So as I said it's the first time Alibaba has reported an operating loss as a public company so quite a detrimental tagline to have on or well, hanging over its head let's say. So we'll see how that's going to play out because because a lot of uh, the, you know the Chinese regulators are really clamping down on a lot of companies over there, especially in the monopoly uh, region as well. And also just keeping an eye on a few other stories coming out. eBay have also um, hit the headlines just in the last couple of days as they will start offering loans to businesses that sell through its marketplace in the UK. And this is pitting the e-commerce giant uh, against UK banks, which is quite significant as well for the banking industry in, in the UK. Uh, so the, their general manager, Murray Lamble, so they think this is a field uh, that is open at the moment for innovation and there's a lot of unmet demand for better services online for businesses and that the company is in prime position to deal with this. The um, CEO, the, sorry, the UK general manager also said that uh, they're working further to have lending options to targeted at larger companies as well. So, you know, the com this will be uh, targeted and looked at quite closely by mainstream banks, obviously, because they're trying to pick up their pace, getting back to uh, pre-pandemic levels as well for them, you know, with uh, loans and also other things that they offer as well. So very, very interesting, not just for eBay, but for UK banks as well. And we'll see if that goes globally in the near future. So just looking at Alibaba at the moment, just want to see this point out this general uh, accentuation uh, in the last three months of 2020, where we saw a bit of optimism after the second wave of the coronavirus started to come to a bit of a halt. Uh, and then we saw obviously a bit of a detrimental downturn at the turn of the year. And then it's been very, very choppy since then. But what I want to kind of target here is the fact that we are trading very far under the Ichimoku cloud. The lower border is really keeping pressure on those uh, bears in the market. Not too much on the daily chart at the moment for RSI to really sink my teeth into to see the direction at the moment. But because we've crossed this previous peak here and we are very far underneath the Ichimoku cloud, then I would expect that the um, near term bias is on the downside that's for sure just looking at the four hour chart as well as you can see here we've tumbled right through the cloud and now we're trading to the downside if we can get a bit of support at the moment we could see a bit of an upturn but at the moment sell positions are very much in my favor and i'm just waiting to see when the next um, divergence or clues on any momentum or uh, stochastic will give me a bit of a direction to close my sell position so just waiting to see what the opportunities are uh, as you can as you can see here usually when there's where there are gaps in the market like this one we usually see it covering pretty quickly but because it hasn't at the moment then this could be a bit of a long term um, experience for bulls, uh, sorry, for bears at the moment. So just a few things to keep an eye on there. eBay, on the other hand, looking very buoyant, just looking on the daily chart at the moment, looking to pick themselves up. As you can see here, we've got, you know, this very choppy action. And now the only place I'm seeing now is if we get through the Ichimoku Cloud top border to have another test at the $64 region. Very, very um, nicely uh, very predictable market at the moment for eBay as we pick up and just looking at some divergences as well not too much in the way of this uh, bearish divergence really putting things into perspective uh, you know we've had this downturn now we're having a bit of a push to the upside if I bring it down on the four hour chart as well 
as you can see here, you know, as I said before, it's only really looking one way. I'll be looking to see once we penetrate the $63 region, I'll be looking for $64 all day long and we'll be seeing what these uh, opportunities are for the near term as well. So as I said, just a few things to look out for. Look out for the banking industry as well, especially in Europe and the UK. If, uh, you know, this eBay um, story uh, gets a bit of steam and if it has a bit of momentum as well as we go into the second quarter. So that's all from the stock course today. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any queries or comments as usual, please add them to the post and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great trading day ahead and bye for now.